Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, hello and welcome. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is on how to block a fascinator base using leather. If there's something you might be interested in, please keep watching. So these are just the basic things we need. We need our mold, we need our stiffener, we need petroleum jelly, we need some things, okay, and then we need felt material this is felt also called wadding this is the black one okay it comes in yards and we have our leather the leather is also sewn in sheets the sheet is about just very small i think it's about eight inches by six inches if i'm not mistaken but about that same measurement that's one sheet is about eight by six inches so this all sheets this whole thing you're seeing is about four to five and it's one around 20 naira per sheet here in Lagos. I'm not sure of how it is being sold in other locations. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the measurement I'll use. That will be enough to cover our mold. I have my leather. This leather is enough for me to cover this my mold. So you can use any mold, just work with the I mean size of mold you have. I also have my wood in it. Okay, I have my wording, I have two pieces cut out the same, almost the same measurements. What is enough to cover this mold? This is our stiffener. We are not going to be mixing our stiffener with water here. So I have it ready. So this is the procedure. The first thing is to apply Vaseline oil on her mold. Very well on this back area okay and then so I place my wadding or felt on it like this so we're going to pin down just like we do when working with cinnamon I'm going to go ahead and pin this down Alright, we have done pinning the first layer of wadding on her mold. So this is our stiffener. I'm going to apply without mixing with water. Okay, I'll just apply it right here. Then I spread it with my I'm going to spread it on on it like this. Having done that, I picked the second layer of uh, wadding. I'm going to place it on it as well, like this. Okay. So if you're molding with felt, this is the same way you mold. You place the second layer like that, you pin it down, and you put it outside or under the sun for it to dry. Then you complete the process of adding your art wire and all that. That's if you're molding with felt only. But since we're going to add leather, I'm just going to go ahead and pin this down. Pin it down like that. Round. North, south, east, and west. Always follow that rule. It makes your molded base neat. It makes it neat. All right, now I've pinned the second layer on it like that round. The next thing is to apply stiffener here as well. But if you're molding with felt only, you're not going to apply stiffener. You understand? You just place it like this, and that hints it. So. Since we are adding leather to this, I will apply my stiffener. 
the same way on it without mixing it with water. I'll just spread it on it like that. Like that, even onto this under part, okay. On this under part, then apply my stiffener on the wrong side of the leather. This is the right side of the leather, this is the wrong side of the leather. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply stiffener on the area I'm going to be placing here without mixing with water as well. So you are going to spread it very well, make sure it is smooth, spread it, then we are going to pin it down, just turn it upside down, okay, like this neatly, then we we'll pin, then we we'll pin, just turn it on the other side and pin the same way, just the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this. North, south, east and west, the same method. Pin down the leather to the base. Okay, just the same way, while molding the fascinator bit, just pull and arrange arrange like that round and pin down you need a lot of pins you need a lot of pins okay just pin it down like that so this is it can you see so i'm going to put this house side under the sun for it to dry to dry very well You can see our leather base is dry, so we're just going to take off all the pins. Remember there are three layers here, so we take off the pins like that. I've taken off the pins, as you can see. I'm just going to open it up a little like this and take off the pins on the second layer of wood in our felt. I'll take off all the pins. I'll do the same, I'll just open it up a little and take off all the pins. So when you're applying your stiffener right from the beginning, make sure you don't um, apply it towards the end of your material, just the edge is okay. Both layers may stick together so much that you may find you can take off the pins. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the pins and uh, we'll continue from there. Alright friends, I've taken off all the pins. I've taken them off as you can see, so I'll just gently take off the mold from these high terms. Just take it off like that, gently, be very careful so you don't, uh, it doesn't affect the shape of your molded piece. Can you see? This is what we got. Can you see? I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the excess. Remember how we do that in the beginner's class? I'll just leave about half an inch away from this hedge. I'll just trim it off like that round. Cut it off. Then I insert my wire. I'm going to insert my wire and finish up like we make a fascinator bit. I appreciate you all for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye.